Nothing is more inspiring and exciting than helping the ones mm -hmm. you love. This is a true story of my father's medical adventure. He is with me today and I will read you exactly how he expresses his own fight for health. These are his own words of his letter that he wrote. And he says, never give up. Remember, never give up. And I'm gonna read his words. There are always many methods and treatments besides conventional ones well known to us and recommended by the doctors. I hope this story will be a good source of information and will help someone in similar situation to face any sickness. My journey, he's saying, to health began when I was 75 years old. I felt good and I did not take any medication unless I had a cold or runny nose. That's why in January 2019, I bought a ticket from Krakow to Chicago to visit my daughter, me, and her family. Unpredictably, everything was suddenly canceled. On the New Year's Eve, instead of planned trip to the States, I suddenly ended up in the hospital because of my heart complications. The test showed serious cardiac problems, some changes, heart failure, along with arrhythmia and hypertension. The struggle for survival began at the turn of the year and lasted for several months, including hospital, sanatorium treatments, and home rehabilitation. Fortunately, despite that fact, I had a lot of support from my family living here with me in Poland, as well as from the United States. When I was admitted to the cardiology department in my hometown for the first time, I was initially treated for bradycardia, which is 40 heartbeats per minute, and ECG on admission to hospital showed sinus rhythm and it showed a decrease in blood pressure by up to 48%. I started exercising on a treadmill, but I had to stop because of increased arrhythmias. Every day it seemed to get worse. So when I was qualified for the bypass surgery, in desperation for Im to improve my condition and my health, I wanted to try other methods and I did not agree. Actually, I even refused this type of surgery that was strongly recommended by heart specialists. Then the first angioplasty was performed and after a few days I was discharged from the hospital and went home with some new strict lifestyle recommendations like doctor's orders to take several heart medications, low calorie diet with reduced fat content, as well as periodic inspections at the cardiology clinic. A month later, my cardiologist again placed me in the hospital and performed another stenting and in two subsequent operations implanted three additionals into my arteries. After that, I underwent a procedure of ablation. This treatment was effective and reduced my arrhythmia. During my further stay at home, I systematically did the necessary periodic examinations Every day I recorded my blood pressure measurements and took the assigned test of drugs. Despite all these changes, I still had the big disadvantages of getting tired when walking, frequent leg cramps, and chest pain. I experienced less physical activity, and what was worse, I started to notice weight gain despite my moderate appetite. To counteract this, my family in the U.S., insisted on coming to Chicago to be checked by American specialists. Although my doctors in Poland were very opposed to my plan, I went on a long trip to U.S. Okay, no. go! decided to try different methods. Here, I met with several cardiologists who recommended the same thing, a pacemaker or at the bypass surgery. However, my daughter was determined to find a better method and avoid any surgery. 
After an extensive research, we found clinic with Dr. Christian Farhart in Querétaro in Mexico. Doctor successfully uses chelation method and uses stem cells for any cardiology um, treatment and other diseases. Paco had the same well. problem as my dad because it was all with um, heart, right? Issues and, and the pressure. Did you like to move the Yeah. And that was not but necessary. Yeah, it's still there. Well, there. Yeah, but, but, not but, it's, but now it's inactive. How long ago? Oh, it's inactive. About wow. almost eight years. Unfortunately, those treatments are either very, very expensive in U.S. or just not available. And the FDA, our FDA, your government. says that you can't do this. Our doctors can't do this. At first, I wasn't entirely sure if in my case, after so many surgical procedures already done and months of drug treatments, I would still be a suitable candidate for the method called chelation. In the situation I found myself to try to improve my well-being, I decided to give a try. On February 15th, 2020, I flew with a group of other patients from Chicago to a clinic in Mexico to start the treatments. After performing detailed blood and urine tests in the lab called CHOPO, I was qualified and admitted to the clinic by Dr. Christian. Good for you. Within 10 days spent in Querétaro, I received 10 chelation infusions. Not my mm -hmm. my chelation therapy. They just so removed my it. IV right so there, as you can see. Christian, Christian. Right there, there's the proof of it. And feeling very well relaxed. We're taking a little extra care in the case of here, my dear companion, Mr. Zena. So he has a heart condition, so we don't put it to the same IV at the same speed. Each infusion contains a special set of chelators, especially EDTA, that cleans up the veins from all heavy metals and calcium. I have to admit that with each day of treatment, I felt a significant improvement. He was seven pale treatments. The moment mm -hmm. I the first and saw swollen. him and swollen in, at his feet. Now. Look at his rosy cheeks, <laughs> healthy rosy mm -hmm. cheeks, and healthy heart directions. Flow of life energy, no more leg cramps, and no more pain in my lower back, which allowed me more freedom of movement. Well, move it to oh, the just one. a little bit down here. Uh -huh. but, but this, very, very, it was like yes. I couldn't see his his um, you know bones and things. And already after a few treatments, the blood pressure since my initial record 173 by 110 by 95 dropped to 130 by 73 by 75. As a result, I gradually reduced, I gradually reduced my medications and even rejected taking some of them. It felt just great. An important convenience during these procedures was that Dr. Christian Parhat arranged the schedule for each patient. In our free time, we were still walking, exploring Querétaro. There are so many beautiful old parts of that charming town. And also, to my surprise, a very modern architecture. To stay in a larger group of people who are receiving all kinds of treatments according to their diseases, we were also able to travel more and visit in nearby cities like San Miguel de Allende.
city of Ajijic or Lake Chapala. All have a lot to offer. And we have a lot of photos, drawn images, we have great memories and hope that one day we're gonna return there again. At the end of my stay in the clinic, apart from collation, I also underwent a procedure to receive the stem cells, which in my case were to make my heart muscles stronger, but most importantly, to restore the body's immune system. Three weeks after my return to Chicago, I found that my blood pressure, first time from a long, long time, was practically normal. My lower back problems were gone, and most surprisingly, I could only occasionally reach for a tablet only during the, uh, the weather changes. And it must, I must emphasize that before leaving the clinic in Mexico, I was also consulted by Dr. Stephanie Farhat, a dietitian specialist who designed for me a type of a new diet, which was according to my health and age, including exercises, of course, daily walks and outdoor activities. This allowed me to reduce my body weight by 14 pounds within my first month. As I mentioned earlier, at the end of my stay in Querétaro, in the same clinic, I received stem cells that were prepared by doctor in according with my cardiovascular needs. Stem cells give. The procedure is very quick, done with four simple injections, and I swear it was painless. The only side effect I noticed was the redness of the skin around the cell injection site. Besides, I felt very well. We needed electrocardiogram, echocardiogram around six months after. Okay, so if he and doesn't, I'm gonna send you the... ready to be surprised. I must indicate that both treatments gave me a lot of energy, positive thinking, and all above, basically, more hope for better tomorrow. Feeling stronger, I was able to dance in the beautiful Querétaro parks where people love to gather together to spend time, especially evenings with music. I tasted really good street food. I met new people, including some Americans who moved to Mexico for their retirement, visited their houses. What we've seen, both of us, and, and here, is so different in the medical profession because first of all they're not scared to death every moment that they're going to be sued for malpractice all right secondly i don't think they're owned and paid for by the drug companies the way the american i'll give you a little example you want to get your teeth cleaned 18 dollars us wow and 175 in us that's right that's right <laughs> So all these little things add up and count. And the medical here, they are so advanced. And your your husband said that they're that. wonderful. The oh. three hospitals right well, nearby. Not just yeah. that. They're in Guadalajara, there's, uh, I think, six million people. It's the second largest city. Right. Um, and they've got a lot of teaching hospitals there. And one thing that yeah. we found out here is that the... Uh, you have to have an academic standing before you can become a medical student. Okay. And then it's free. You don't pay for anything. Government pays for it. So they get the best of the best. And uh, and and for instance, I've got my 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 doctor cell phone number. Call him anytime. I can call him. At I. You don't need to wait three months yeah, for one three. appointment. <laughs> no, it's right on his business card, his cell phone. And local markets and enjoyed the fantastic weather of Mexico. The funny thing is that one aspect of the stem cells that the doctor and other stem cells recipients mentioned to me 
was that usually men regain their sexual vitality and incredible power. Should I call it a side effect or a natural secret weapon instead of Viagra? Anyway, now I know it's true. I'm writing this letter to document my trip for myself and anyone who suffers and struggles with the same or similar issues that I had. I was hopeless. I also decided to describe my experience and tell my story because I really would like to express my gratitude. Objective uh, and very uh, specific symptoms that actually his treatments are working right now. Not in a month, not in a year, right now. An appreciation to Dr. Christian Farhad and his medical staff, to all the people who looked after me throughout the entire stay in the clinic. I feel much better. I lost a lot of weight. I stopped taking medical drugs, replacing them with a new lifestyle, which is for sure healthy food. We're doing little shopping, shopping of the organic items. Exercises. Stem cells revolution. 75 years old on the electric scooter. Nothing is impossible. Yeah. Is it fun? Jeszcze raz spróbuj. More walking, a lot of positive energy. Oh my goodness! treatments my blood pressure has normalized. I regularly keep records of my blood pressure measurements and I will be sharing during my monthly visits all those records with my cardiologist in Poland. I hope that everyone in need will be able to experience such a positive change, a transformation that has transformed my life and I'm sure can also change yours. Okay, I'm here with my grandpa Zenek. Um, he is 74 years old and just about a year ago um, he had the problem and issues where he wasn't able to walk or function normally like a normal human being would and he had difficulties doing everyday things and turns out after reading his blood pressure was um, very low and it turns out he was having a lot of issues with uh, clogged veins so um, for the longest time ever, he wasn't able to do anything, and he was going around hospital to hospital in Poland, and the one thing that they were telling him was just basically take pills, take pills, um, even saying, like, to have a pacemaker and stuff like that. It's just, like, the standard things, and which, I mean, like, it does work for some people, but it's not the, not the ideal method, but um, we brought him over here just to see if there's any alternative methods here in the U.S., and... Um, Turns out here it's very expensive, especially for someone who doesn't have insurance. And there are a lot of methods here that are very advanced, but like I said, they cost a lot. Um, and so about a year ago when I went um, for a procedure done for me, I, I went to Corretoro, Mexico, and there's a clinic over there in which um, it's very high advanced medicine um, and and very intelligent doctors over there working over there and he has his own clinic and own practice and um, it was an absolutely beautiful experience and I um, I was able to get out of the clinic very fast and it was great so we decided to take a gamble on that and bring him over there and um, after being there for two weeks he came back here and uh, I believe it was, a, it was like seven days right afterwards he completely got off all medication and he started to say, in his words, he started to feel like he was 40 again, which was 
absolutely insane. And now um, he's 74 years old, and to think that in just a year's time, he's able to go over a mile on a treadmill now at the age of 74. Um, he's walking normally. He's lost 20 pounds, and this has only been like 30 days since he's gotten back. So um, it's absolutely extraordinary, and I can't wait to see the progress uh, growing. So. Congratulations. <laughs> I wish everyone in need not to be afraid of this method of repairing their health because it's really, really worth it. Hello, this is my healthy grandfather over here. Um, about a year ago, uh, he was in Poland and he was diagnosed with a, a really bad heart problem and he decided to come to the United States to spend some time with our family and uh, my mother decided to take him to Mexico to the best doctors for some really good stem cells. Once he got to that therapy, he did that therapy for about two weeks, which I saw with my own eyes that it was incredible. It was phenomenal and uh, it was the best experience my grandfather could ever get. Um, on his way home, he was very excited. Uh, he said the process was really easy, really relaxed. And uh, when he got here, uh, him and I decided to exercise a lot, which I'm talking like once a day, and he was able to complete a mile on the treadmill in less than 20 minutes, which was spectacular. And we would run that routine every single day. He would cut off unhealthy food, he would eat very good food, and he, over that time, within those two months that he did his therapy, he's lost about 20 pounds, and uh, I see him, he's very ha like happy, he's very healthy, and he's very excited about it. And uh, the people in Mexico, the doctors, they are extremely amazing and really, really helped out my grandfather. Thank you. If you wish to talk to me, I can always exchange more details as a phone conversation, by email, or even personally. That was my dad, Zanon Kivior. And the number to call for more info is 773-716-4700. And I'm Ilana, his daughter, and mm -hmm. the most proud daughter in the world. Mwah.